have here with me is a Meyer lemon tree, which is a hybrid. So it's a cross between a lemon and a mandarin orange. So the fruit is a little sweeter than your typical lemon and the rind is a lot thinner and sweeter as well. So it's a favorite amongst chefs and in the culinary world they prefer this lemon in baked goods and beverages cocktails you name it it grows really well in zones 8 through 11 and this can live up to 50 years if you take really good care of it it's resistant to pests and diseases and you can grow them indoors or outdoors they do prefer full sun so if you're growing indoors place them in a south or southwest facing window and if you still can't get enough sun there you can use grow lights just to ensure that it has enough sun it does prefer full sun so at least eight hours uh, a day now it can do good with less sunlight but it just won't thrive and produce as much fruit as if you were to give it full sun now they are self-pollinating so you don't need more than one to have it bear fruit. However, if you're gonna grow indoors, when it's flowering, it is suggested um, and recommended to pollinate those flowers since you won't have the natural pollinators that you normally do outside. So take a cotton swab or a paintbrush and just transfer pollen from one flower to another. The standard Meyer lemon tree grows anywhere from 6 to 10, 15 feet tall if they're in ground. The dwarf variety grows between 5 to 7 feet tall. But if you're growing them in a container, the containers will constrict the size. So they will grow according to whatever size container you have. And obviously they won't grow that big and tall if you're growing them primarily in containers. So for like a two to three year old tree, you can get away with growing them in a five gallon to 10 gallon container. But as the tree gets older and bigger, you'll wanna upsize that pot. I have mine here in a 20 gallon. And I have it in a fabric container, which I don't recommend. This is just in this container temporarily. I have it in this container because I didn't have another 20 gallon to fit this in. But also I prefer fabric because it has really good airflow. These trees really do need good air circulation. So if you're not growing in a fabric container, which again, I don't recommend because when the tree gets big, the roots are gonna just break out of that fabric. So it is definitely not recommended. Like I said, this is temporary. I would um, recommend terracotta because that's uh, breathable. It's very porous. So you would still get a lot of airflow and air circulation in and out of that pot. The soil requirements would just be sandy and loamy soil. It prefers a pH at around 5.5 to 6.5 and it needs to be well draining. They don't like wet feet. When you go to water it, you'll want to water deeply but infrequently, slowly as well. So if you have drip irrigation, water the soil directly and make sure you water it nice and deeply. They also like a lot of humidity and so we are here in Florida and we don't have any issue with that out here. But if you're growing them indoors, you can either mist the leaves daily or put a saucer underneath that container and fill it with rocks and water so that way the water forms humidity and it can rise up to the leaves. These trees thrive with outdoor temperatures between 50 and 80 degrees but they will still do well outside of those temperatures. They just probably won't thrive and fruit as much. So I've had mine outside in 20 degree weather and I've also had it outside in 95 plus degree weather. And although it wasn't happy, um, it did survive. And right now we are in almost in February, actually it's the end of January. Never mind, it's February 1st and it is thriving. The temperatures have been consistently between 70 and 80 degrees outside. Here where we are in Florida, we're in zone 9A now. Um, we were in zone 9B, but yeah, it's doing really well. When it comes to fertilizing them, they do need a good citrus fertilizer. So whatever fertilizer you use, just follow the directions on that package. It just depends on the fertilizer that you're using, but a citrus fertilizer is recommended. And if you're not gonna do that, at least 
give it some compost with some blood meal and bone meal and maybe some worm castings and they should be really happy. When it comes to pruning them, it's not recommended to prune them when they're young. Wait until they're a few years old and a few feet tall and just prune back any branches that don't produce any fruit. Prune any branches that are growing inward or down toward the trunk um, just to promote airflow and increase fruit production. You'll get really good harvest in the fall and winter. And they say in as little as two years you can get fruit um, if you purchase a tree that has been grafted at the rootstock. Now it's not really recommended to grow citrus from seed because they don't really do as well. They're not as healthy but also this is not recommended, this specific uh, citrus tree, this Meyer lemon, because it is a hybrid. So if you're growing from seed, then there's a possibility that the new tree that is produced will not be an exact replica of the mother plant. So it may have regular lemons or maybe more of a mandarin orange than an actual hybrid Meyer lemon. And when it is time to harvest, you'll know because the fruit itself becomes a deeper yellow with a slight orange tinge color kind of like an egg yolk or good nice healthy orange egg yolk and it'll be plump and juicy and kind of soft so you'll know that it's ready to harvest don't pull the fruit off the plant just snip it off so that you don't damage the branches and it's as easy as that now this one here has so many flowers and if you have never smelled a citrus flower. I don't know if all of them smell this way, but the Meyer lemon, oh my goodness. It has such a beautiful, fragrant, perfumey uh, smell. It's so strong and so pleasant. I absolutely love it. buds off of the branches so like if I have a cluster of flower buds which I do on like almost every branch they say that it's good to just pick all of them except for one but I don't know if I want to do that I might experiment with one branch just plucking them all off to see how they do they say that you'll get um, bigger lemons that way but I don't really that's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for competition size lemons I just want it to grow the best that it can and as naturally as it possibly can so i'll have to do a little bit more research on that but i will definitely do another video once i see fruit forming and i will update along the way as always thank you so much for watching